Hey there, it's Bill here with JK Southwest. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're high up in the Sierra Nevadas and we're gonna go hit a trail up to Laurel Lake, so stick around. So, with some blue skies and warm temperatures, we start heading up the trail. It's pretty windy here at our starting elevation of 7,300 feet, and the wind is only going to get worse as we gain almost 3,000 more feet of elevation on our way to this alpine lake. This isn't a terribly difficult trail. In fact, it's a short trail as far as mileage, but it is relatively slow going due to its uphill nature and loose rocky terrain. We'll be sure to take it slow and enjoy the scenery. While the trail up to Laurel Lake isn't that difficult, you will probably want a high clearance four-wheel drive vehicle. There are several washed out and rocky sections like this on the trail. They might be a little too much for most smaller SUVs or two-wheel drive vehicles. But even if you're in something like my son's stock Xterra, you should be able to make it through the trail without much difficulty. So we're making our way up the mountain and the, the first half here is just a rocky dirt road and uh, not any crazy obstacles but uh, there's enough spots where it's dug out and enough big enough rocks that uh, you're going to want four wheel drive to get over it for sure. Uh, it doesn't take long though for the terrain to change and it quickly becomes a really loose shale that's all slid down the side of the mountain and it becomes a really narrow shelf road which is kind of challenging because it is two-way traffic. This is a one-way in, one-way out trail, so you're constantly on the watch out for opposing traffic and trying to find a spot where everybody can get by.
As we pass the high point of the trail, at just over 10,000 feet of elevation, we get our first glimpse of this classic High Sierra Lake with amazing scenery as well as great camping and fishing opportunities. And a quick look back shows just how far we've come. All that's left is to drop down this last quarter mile to get to the water's edge. We made it up all the shelf roads and we dropped down into the lake, so let's go check it out. You'll be hard pressed not to be stunned by the breathtaking views up here. One of the highlights is a small peninsula that juts out just enough to make you feel like you're in the middle of the lake. It has a nice grassy area that would work as a perfect picnic spot or even a great overnight camp spot. After our time at the lake was over, it was time to make the steep, loose climb back out of the lake. Then, then travel back across the same trail that we made our way in on. Oh, and don't forget to take in the incredible views as you make your way back down the mountain. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave any comments or questions you have down below, and we'll see you on the trail.